Hi all, today we will see how to install Sonar Cube in our Windows desktop machine. So open your browser, type Sonar Cube and press enter. So get a list, select Sonar Cube. Now click on downloads. Here we have a community version. So we will install this community version. So give download from here. So it's getting downloaded. Just a few minutes. So this will be the step one of downloading Sonar Cube. We need to do two downloads. One is the Sonar Cube. Another one is a Sonar Scanner. Okay, this is done. So next we'll go to Sonar Scanner Download. Just type Sonar Scanner Download for Windows. So you will get a link like this. In description I will give this links, don't worry. But anyway, I will just give you the suggestion. Here from Windows 64, select Windows 64 bit and just click download. So it will get download. Yeah, it's downloaded now. So now we have downloaded both uh, Sonar Cube as well as Sonar Scanner. We will extract these files in the local path itself. Just like click and give extract all. Let it be Sonar Cube. I'll just change to Sonar Cube. Just give extract. It's extracting the files for us. Okay, done. The same way we will do for this corner scanner also. Sonar scanner also. We'll just change the name to Sonar scanner and give extract. <coughs> yeah, it's done now. Yeah, now we will copy these files to our C drive. I will create a folder. I have already created a folder called software in it. So I will just paste this here. So I have done both the files. So I have pasted both the extracts to this particular folder now. Now we will go for the configuration change. So just click on this, go to config, go to sonar. So just you can scroll down. So here you can just scroll down to see that it will show us. Yeah. Sonar web port. So Remove the comment, change the port from 9000 to 9099. The reason behind is 9099, 9000 is already in use in your system. So we will change it to 9099. Uh, just only this the single change. We will save this file now. Nothing else need to be changed. Just we will give save. So once we have saved this file, we will have to change the same for scanner also. So in scanner we will go there. So this what it does is it scans the content to code and sends the uh, result to the sonar cube. So here also we need to change it for uploading. So just we will edit this and change the local host as 9000 to 9099 and save the file yeah <coughs> so once this is done you can go to sonar queue go to bin directory in that you will see windows select windows and give start scanner so you can see start scanner just click on it so this will 
start your sonar cube on your local machine. You take a bit of time, just wait for some time. Yeah, okay. At the meantime, we will open it in our browser to check whether it has started executing. So we will give local as 9099 sonar cube is starting. See, we can see that it is starting here. Let's wait. Now, oh, sonar cube is up. Now it is done. Just click on the home page. So here you will get the username. It will ask prompt for your username and password. The default username is admin. Password is admin. Just log in. First time when you log in, it will ask you to change the password. So I'll just close this. So old password is nothing but admin. And the new password, whatever password you want to keep. It. So default password will be admin admin. So whatever the new password you want to change, you can change here. This will be the first screen which you will get on the screen. Just I have changed the password and I have give update. So now it is ready. So you can uh, take it directly from, you can do a project for direct GitLab or Git, GitHub or for Bitbucket. Or you can set the project manually also. Here we will try to set the project manually. So you can use the existing thing. So this screen is in project screen. So now we'll go to manually. Here I create a project, say let it be TTG uh, PHP. TTG PHP, I'll give setup. So this will be the project name and the project key is TTG. Okay, now we'll go for setting up the locally. So to run sonar scanner from your local machine. So what you'll do, we will select locally and it is asking for token. So just let it be the same, give generate. It is providing a token, continue. Choose others, Python, PHP, just click on it. Select Windows machine from this. Okay. Now you get the code for Sonar Scanner to execute in the command line form. So just go and copy this. You can just copy this. Okay. Now go open a new terminal. So existing terminal let it be. So just open a new terminal. So command prompt. So we need to go to that software directory cd slash cd software and we will enter into the sonar scanner directory so see contents so we get the directory list here now we'll give series sonar scanner just enter this you need to go to the bin directory so cd bin now paste control v so here we can see the bat file so we'll just paste control v first you need to change the source directory where the code is so my code is in c drive uh, software code is my part so i change it to c colon uh, software software and i give it as code now i just press enter but by doing this we will get an issue I'll let you know. So first we will face that issue. So it is running. So we have got uh, executed successfully. Now when we come to the uh, local host, we can see that background job is running. What is doing? Whatever the scan files is, it is sending to the server. Yeah. Now the files are sent. Now you can see that the main branch has no code. So this is so just add sonar project base directory at the end of the paste. So I will add this also in the description so that you will be easy to do. Right? So now it has started to execute and it has started to running. Let's wait, it will take some time. Yeah, it is done now. Now open your browser to see the report. So here, yeah, you get the report. So this is how the report is created. You can go in detail and check individuals. Okay, thank you.